Oh shit. Well, that didn't work. He turned around and I couldn't get off my sh shield fast enough. Thank goodness this stuff isn't one-shotting me anymore. That's pretty much... I'm pretty sure like 50% or... Ooh. 50 uh, of the deaths of the counter were at least my first or two streams of this game. Hey, Cass! Have I been here? I've been here. Have I? Rito Stable. Have I been here? Oh. Let's see. Mm. And my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're doing just fine. But you see, I cannot go home until I fulfill my promise to my teacher. What promise? My promise to. On second thought, now it is not the time. But if he's able to learn of all the ancient songs, I will tell you of my promise back in my hometown. But listen to me, brothering on. I need to focus on my craft. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down for me, my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Sure. Ooh. Excellent. Without further ado. Is it the same one? Uh, we've heard this one before. We'll skip that. What do you got in your diary? The sword of the seals, the darkness. Oh, yeah, we've been here before. All right, so let's just get out of here and let's just go straight to Rito. Ooh, okay, <laughs> not you. You're gonna do the thing, right? The thing. Come on, you know. The thing. Climbing the snowy mountains. I was confident I could handle the cold, but I didn't wear anything special. But the Amber Mountains are really cold, like serious cold, cold enough to send you to your grave. I'd say so. Be careful out there, yeah. <laughs> right, you got a quest. The thing about me is I just can't get enough spice in my life. Spicy. I need that burning tingle. I need curry rice. Now I have highly and rice on hand. Which I need to make curry rice, but I'm fresh out of gore on spice. I can't just run off and leave the stable. If you happen to get your hands on some gore on rice, could you give it to me? <laughs> Thank you kindly, sunny boy. Curry rice always warms me right up. Sweet. Let's get to Rito. Wild berries. <laughs> Don't do that. I miss a berry. I miss some berries. Got him. Yeah, you like those voices? I always just screw around with them. Maybe I will. <gasps> fish. Is there fish in there? Dang. Do I chance taking that updraft? Hmm. Now let's observe, see if there's anything special about the area. Squirrels. Yeah, chickmunk squirrel friends. Fish. Fish. Yes! Got a salmon. Got another salmon. All right, so it looks like we might be doing uh, a volleys. Jeez, I don't remember that part. Should have screenshot at that. Dang it. I always forget to do that. Ugh.
We've made it. We made it to the bird people village. Oh. Really? There's a prey thing here. Hi. I actually like this, the music here. Kind of reminds me of Full Metal Alchemist. Hi. Oh. Good day. Are you staying in Rito Village too? Huh. I see. Nice to meet a fellow admirer. I always like the simple nature of this village. Mm. Although I'm starting to regret choosing this is a honeymoon destination. It's really cold here and there's not much to do, so my wife is complaining non-stop. She won't even talk to me right now. Uh. Oh man, if it doesn't work, she's going to divorce me for sure. I need to make some baked apples to keep my wife happy. But I don't have any flint to start a fire. Can I just give him some? To make him some baked apples? Can I just trade you some baked apples? I'm pretty sure I have some baked apples. Sorry. Armor. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought there was more quests here. Maybe I'm just... We gotta unlock them. Here you go. Make some baked apples. Sit. No. Not that. Here you go. Hold. Na -na 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 -na. Cook them all. That doesn't give me five baked apples, does it? That gives simmered fruit. Right. Baked apples, you need to light it on fire. So let's do... Nope. Can I just drop them here and have them get cooked? God damn it! I didn't want you to cook them. Dang it. Wasted a bunch of apples. Brady, let me tell you a story. I love stories. Awesome, me too. Um, once upon a time, my grandpa stopped a big tree while he was climbing down a big mountain. Looked below to in the northeast, northwest. And suddenly he saw a huge snow white birdie with its wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the snow white birdie. When he got a little closer to the super white birdie, grandpa saw something super important inside his belly. The birdie had swallowed. What was it? I was going to sleep here on that part of the story, so I don't remember. Oh, I know where the big tree is, though. Oh, jeez. It's over there. You see it? Grandpa said he saw the Snow White Birdie from that tree. Oh. Mm. Now what did that Snow White Birdie swallow? Oh. I can't hear the story from Grandpa anymore. Oh, that's sad. What did you do to yourself? You hurt yourself? Right, we're just gonna pick up all the quests real quick. Oh. Hello. Say, traveler. I take you've seen the divine beast far meadow. Everyone is at a loss of what to do. I can't help but sigh every time I look skyward. When will you be able to go back to living a relaxed life here? Sorry, I don't know. I thought you would have had a quest. No quest. No quest. 
There's a quest. Hi. It's a person. Good day. Well, I just realized you're a Hylian. You just wandering around Hyrule, trying to find yourself. I'm here on my honeymoon, but this town is seriously a hole. In Gerudo Town, they gave Julie Dubai. Zora's domain is always a hoot with all the weird spiritual fish people. But here, I just want to go home already. Oh, really? Give me a break already. I can't believe my husband brought me here for our honeymoon. He already apologized, but he doesn't want a divorce. I told him you better bring me a big tapple. Dang it. Oh, look at this guy! He cool. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> that makes me happy. Hey, buddy, wake up. Oh, our visitor. Welcome to... Oh, oh! That object on your hip, could it be? Forgive me. Well, my manners. I'm Kanelli, Lord Elder of the Rito Village. Now then, is that not a shiko shake dangling from your hip? That's right. Oh my, so it's true. That means you must be the champion. Like Master Ravali, one of our few able to board Divine Beast for our medal. Now what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Shika Slate. Ah, oh, forgive me. Champion descendant, if you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. Sure. Thank you, truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there's something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with the Divine Beast Bar Meadow. The giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the more headstrong little warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Teba and Hoth tried to comfort Meadow, but it did not go well. Hoth was injured. Teba escaped as unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Meadow alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please, why Teba? If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Bamedo. Sure. I got it. We good. No biggie. Stupid baked apple. You know what? I'm lazy, so I'm gonna just do it the easy way. Here we go. Where is she? She was after the little girl, right? Uh, nope. Stop. Down. Get off. She was... Where is she? There she is. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to pick this up. I'm going to drop this here. We're going to switch to this. And then we're going to switch to this. And then we're going to cook it with this fire. Yeah! That was awesome! Oh, you scared? I cooked you an apple. Hey, I know that smell. You've got a baked apple. Can I have one? I'll give you a present. Sure. <laughs> you serious? Cheers, just hold out your hand. Oh my god, she just paid me $100 for a baked apple. I'll give you 20 baked apples. Now if I could only get my husband to cook me a baked apple every once in a while. I got a second stomach and a hollow leg for baked apples. Bring me as many as you possibly can. All right. How many? Like, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I only have five more of those arrows. Old. All right, little kid. Careful. I'm going to shoot some arrows. Boom. All right. All but one got baked. So tired. No, screw you, man. I'm... Oh, you suck. I just baked you a ton of apples. Now you're going to go away? You apple tease. <laughs> you suck, lady. All right, let's save. And then... 
I believe, well, we're definitely over time. We're 35 minutes over normal time, but I had a blast. I hope you guys are having fun. If you are, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let's you know what you're liking, what you're not liking. Let me get some shout outs here. Uh, Yuri, if you are still in chat, thank you so much for the five bits. Those are always appreciated, especially by the doggos. Uh, Small Mifa, thank you for the rate of five. Thank you for bringing some friends over. And Didactylus, bam, got your name. Thank you so much for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Welcome to the crew. I hope you uh, stick around and hang out with all of us and have some fun as well. Uh, we'll be back at this again tomorrow, same time, same place. Uh, looks like we'll be taking on Va Meadow. Maybe, yeah, it'll probably happen. I think there's some side quests and stuff to do around it. Figure out the apple lady and uh, move on from there. So we'll be taking down another divine beast. So that'll be fun. Anyways, remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to a rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasive. This itchy one is Jaida. Mama's over there sleeping. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.